Oscar goes to... Here's Allison. Can you explain what internet is? Forrest Gump. When I was growing up in the 1990s, programming blocks were all the rage. ABC had TGIF. NBC had Must See TV. Now that's Must See TV. But my favorite was Nick at Night. Nick at Night, a TV viewer's dream. No must, no fuss, no heavy perfume. Just good television. Put Nick at Night in your living room. Sure, like everyone else my age, I enjoyed Nickelodeon proper, but I could not wait for Nick at Night to come on the air. Hi, I'm movie man Eric Houston, and every night at 8, 7 central, Nickelodeon's often Canadian-produced weirdness would go off the air, only to be replaced by Nick at Night and a legion of classic television shows that I had never heard of. Welcome! Nick at Night is on the air! I was already a fan of Lucy and Bewitched and Genie, but Nick at Night introduced me to a whole host of shows that would become some of my favorite TV shows of all time. Shows like The Dick Van Dyke Show. Welcome back, Cotter. Well, that's stupid. I mean, why would I think that Vinny's going to do his homework? <laughs> and above all, get smart. Listen, Chief, this may be the wrong time, but I've been meaning to ask you about that raise you promised me. Raise? What raise? This is no time to talk about a raise. <laughs> These shows are a part of my DNA, and there is no doubt that Nick and Knight was instrumental in shaping my television-obsessed mind, inspiring me to go to film school, to teach these classes, to get a job in television, and to continue to concentrate on the minutia of oddball shows from the past. In the 1980s, many cable channels only ran programming for part of the day, and some shared their channel space with a whole other network. And when Nickelodeon stopped airing at 8 o'clock, A&E would take over. From early on, Adolf Hitler instinctively grasped the magic power of the spoken word. In 1985, A&E became its own channel, and Nickelodeon suddenly had a whole half of a programming day on its hands and nothing to fill it. A couple of consultants named Alan Goodman and Fred Siebert came up with an idea for a programming block that emulated oldies stations on the radio. Everybody's voting for the friendly voice of radio, the people's choice. Hello, I'm Mr. Red. But instead of playing classic songs, this channel would show the greatest TV shows of all time. The newly created Nick at Night premiered on July 1st, 1985 with an initial lineup that included Dennis the Menace, The Donna Reed Show, and Route 66. Now reruns like this were already airing all over cable. Today on Superstation WTBS. But Nick at Night was the first channel, or half a channel, to fully devote itself to classic TV. Its other innovation, I think, was in keeping things weird. Outside of showing classic, campy, and kitschy TV shows, Nick at Night was also jam-packed with memorable, off-the-wall promos. What's on TV, sis? Crummy network rerun. Gee, you. <laughs> they sure smell the second time around. You bet they do. You should watch Nick at Night brand reruns. There were also strange characters who existed only during commercial breaks, like Milkman. Oh, that dog. That dog is crazy. And Dick Van Dyke is the chairman of Nick at Night. The next time you choose a pet's name, why not look to your TV heritage? Little Mel here thinks it's a great idea. And maybe, just maybe, you could honor your television heritage when a blessed event arrives. We're calling him Agarn. And who can forget their bizarre programming stunts? Like one Cinco de Mayo, where they ran their shows in Spanish. ¿Cuánto hace que lo sabes? 24 años. Oh. <laughs> or the whole night they devoted to the back of Patty Duke's head. There was merchandise too. I still have the episode guide and Why We Watch by Dr. Will Miller. I even had the single issue of the Nick at Night magazine. And you better believe that I had the centerfold of Barbara Eden up on the wall of my middle school bedroom. And Nick at Night didn't only offer me a crash course in classic television. It also served as a way to bond with my parents as they could share with me and my brother the shows they had grown up loving. These days, the shows that made Nick at Night great can be found on MeTV, Antenna TV, and a whole host of other digital channels, while Nick at Night itself is still going strong, now showing sitcoms from the 2000s. That might seem weird to you, it frankly seems a little weird to me, but Nick at Night started out showing 20-year-old sitcoms, and I think it's only fitting that it's still a place where young parents can share the shows they loved with their children. Great moments in Nick at Night history.
August 9th, 1990, for the very first time, Nick at Night delivers Milkman to America's doorstep. I like to drink it cold. Yes, set forth on a quest from TV land, Milkman brings truth and justice in his hand by delivering milk and hope to a world gone sour. It's Milkman! for that. Be good to your fellow man. That's all the payment I have.